Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. I, I hope you can hear what I'm hearing in my spirit. The Lord is preparing us now to be able to stand in the lean times and to have something inside of us to give to a people who are going to be very, very hungry for reality, for truth. And it's so important that you and I begin to understand, as Paul said to Timothy, the husbandman that labors must be first partaker of the fruits. Before the word of the Lord came, the Bible says the word of the Lord tried Joseph. In other words, if we're going to have any strength to say God will get you through the fire, we have to go through the fire first. This has got to be something inside of us. And very many people don't have the courage to understand that trial and difficulty and hardship is actually a benefit because in that we find the strength of God, we find the faithfulness of God, we find the goodness of God so that when the time comes that we have to stand for God, we have something to say and we have an authority behind it to say it. Not just empty words that we've memorized in a Bible group somewhere, but we've walked through the fire, we've walked through the flood, we've faced the giants, we've come out the other side, we've known the victory of God. Hallelujah. Pastor William, I have part B at three o'clock of your message. I've got a word the Lord's given me today called, I know what your calling is. There's a, there's a season that comes to a, a, a country, a society, where the call, there's a broad-based calling of God that comes to the church. And I know what that calling is. If you wondered what the calling on your life is at this time, it would be good for you to either be here or get the tape. You're going to hear part B of what you heard. You're not only called to get the blessings of God and to learn to budget them, but there's a calling that comes with it. Thank God. Thank God that he's preparing us. Now, I want, I want you to take a moment at this platform and look at some of the blessings of God and the benefits of God and take a look at who's going with us to heaven. And the strength that God will give us to live holy lives, to live lives of faith, to have a song that's not circumstance dependent so that our children are not fretful and fearful and worried when they see mom and dad and grandpa and grandma and they see brother and sister so-and-so singing the songs of Zion with the same fervency as when the, the Dow was at 12,000 and nothing has changed, they begin to realize, hey, there's really truth in this. There's really strength in God. There's really a reason to rejoice. We are safe. We don't have to be afraid of the days that are ahead of us. Well, I have to have this one. I have to. Hi there. How are you doing? What a sweetheart you are. Hey, my goodness. Look at all these. You you have anything to say? No, nothing at all, eh? At the moment? Hallelujah. Lord, help us to budget our blessings. Help us to realize what you've given us and what we hold in our hands. Oh, God. We're so appreciative. We're so glad, Lord, that you speak to us and you prepare us for the lean years. We're so glad, Lord, for the promise that not only are we going through, but our children are going through. We're so glad, oh God. My heart rejoices, Lord. I don't walk anymore but what, by what I see. I walk by what I know. I thank you, God, for miracles. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you keep these children and no power of hell that comes against them can ever destroy them. I thank you for giving their moms and their dads and their guardians and grandparents and aunts and uncles and brothers and sisters. You give all of us the grace and strength to walk a life of faith before them, a life that abounds in our heart, Lord, no matter what it looks like outside. Oh, Jesus, thank you for showing us what's important in life. God Almighty, we give you praise for delivering us from the selfishness of this generation and showing us, Lord, nothing of this world goes with us into eternity, but these children go. And for that, we're deeply thankful, O oh God. We will cherish these children, Lord. God Almighty, we will hold them close to our hearts as you hold us close to yours. 
and we will teach them the love of God and the security of the believer. And Father, we thank you for this with everything that's in our heart. Bless those at the altar today, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings you put into our lives. Help us to understand and put into practice what we've heard today. Lord, destroy these blessings and not to forget them in the days ahead. And Father, we thank you for this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.